welcome to Back to Flower. Hi Lena. Hi Arno. How are you? I'm great and uh, ready to speak about all of those delicious products that we have here. What are we going to speak about today? Uh, today we are going to speak about an important uh, characteristic of the final product, uh, which is color. Color. Uh, so as we can see, we have uh, many different examples. We mm. have some uh, very golden uh, products. Uh, we have more brownish products. Mm -hmm. uh, we have also very white uh, mm. products. Mm -hmm. And all of them have the right color. Exactly. And that's very important because the consumer uh, expectation, when you go to the shop, you're expecting something. If you mm. want something white, you want to have something white. If you want something a little bit darker, you want to have something darker. So it's basically one of the first things the customers see yeah. when they enter the shop yeah. yeah so that's definitely uh, what makes you uh, well, what triggers the purchase uh, one of the things that triggers the purchase and, and that's also something that the people are associated to the quality of the product for instance if we take the baguette some people like it a little bit brown there is a trend now to have people asking for more white white product because they associate more brown to over bake over -bake. this type of thing so it's really something the people they they already start mm. eating the product when they start seeing the product. So this is a color, in this, in this case, in an in, is an indicator of doneness of exactly. the product. That's it means it. that it has, uh, correctly, uh, it has been correctly baked or mm. underbaked if, it, if it's too, pay, too pale. Sorry, mm -hmm. uh, or on the contrary, if it's too dark, then it might be overcooked, and that's not appealing. Exactly, and and it's it's also something we are related with the texture, with the mm -hmm. crispness of the product. We have a feeling that for a French baguette, for instance, if it will be darker, it should be a little bit more crunchy. Yeah, so okay. it it has to see also with the. Um, with the quality of the perception of the quality we will have when we will be eating mm. the product. Yeah, that's right. Uh, and uh, also, well, during baking, uh, this is a very important step uh, in the baking industry uh, when making bread or croissant or wafers or whatever, um, because this is when you are going to develop a lot of flavors. Yep. Yeah. Um, you have uh, well chemical reactions, uh, sugar browning uh, that had deeper flavor, deeper mm -hmm. texture to the product. Mm -hmm. So that's very important to the taste. Usually, yeah. Usually, when you have a darker color, you have a stronger mm -hmm. flavor. That's that's also also important. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So color is important. Um, so what makes in the process and in the flour that we are going to develop more or less flour? What are the key components? Well, um, so one of the main ingredients of all of those products is flour. Mm -hmm. uh, and so flour will play a very important role in the development of color, of the proper color. Uh, I would say the most important aspect is the, um, uh, the couple between damaged starch and enzymatic activity. Mm -hmm. Correct. Uh, if you have more damaged starch, then you will develop more free sugar. They are more sensitive to amylase, so you will develop more free sugars. Uh, and those sugars during baking, they, um, well, they caramelize, they, uh, you they have Myad reaction. They interact and with protein. They interact with protein, and all of that tends to uh, produce color. Yeah, so it's it's something which is about starch, enzyme activity, yeah. protein. Yeah. Very important, but also the process. Mm -hmm. If you if you proof longer, you can have a darker color. Yes. If you bake at higher temperature or longer time, you can also influence the color. So it's the flour, but it's also the process which Absolutely. is very important. Um, when we are adding sugar. I see some product here yeah. uh, where we have been adding sugar mm -hmm. to the, like biscuit and, and wafer. Uh, sugar is also increasing the color. Normally. Absolutely. Absolutely. And uh, maybe there is a, another aspect which is the, the starch properties in itself. Not only damaged starch, but the starch properties. Okay. Uh, like for instance, uh, uh, gelatinization of the starch. Okay. Uh, during gelatinization, the starch will be more accessible uh, also. Mm -hmm. uh, and that also may lead to a deeper, intense color. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. Ash is also very important, and yes. particularly when you are making this kind of white product. Mm -hmm. like like that Very in, white in, here. In, in, in dark product, maybe less. Mm. But if you want to have something very white, uh, you don't want to have the grayish mm. bottom line that ash or eye hash yes. could, could provide. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so color is important. And finally, we can say that color depends on the flower 
property and on, and the, on process. the process. So you have two main things here to control. Wonderful. And uh, finally, the idea would be to give every time, whatever, the, all of those colors, they are good. Uh, mm -hmm. This is the color that the customer is expecting. But the, the key here is to produce a consistent color every time. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's the challenge for bakers. That's a real challenge. Thank you, Lena. Thank you, Anna. If you want to learn more about uh, this important characteristic or about one of these uh, delicious products here, you can visit our website and you can also click here.